Come on, boy, 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 boy. Hello, my babies. You're here again with me, baby. Welcome back to my channel. You can see from the title, I finally bought something from the Chanel store. You guys know that this is my first love, my first true love. But since there is no actual Chanel boutique here in the Philippines, I've always needed to buy from a reseller or a personal shopper. I just really, really wanted to experience buying something from an actual store. And that's why I was so excited when we went to Vietnam. I was part of a group for ASICS. We were there for like a shoe preview of the incoming season. So on our downtime, that's when I was like, okay, 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 no work right now. I'm gonna go to the nearby Chanel. It was located at the Rex Hotel. So I'm just gonna lay it down for you, I have a bit of tea. So get ready to slurp. I went there on the first day, right? So excited, so starry eyed. I lined up, I was so patient, I was just like really in the mood to have a good time. I was assigned to this dude, I'm gonna blur his face because oh, I already know there's gonna be a bad story right now. He started out super accommodating and super nice. Um, I said that I wanted to buy a classic flap because I really did want to buy one. He showed me the stock though and none of the colors were calling me. Like none of them were even slightly good in my opinion. I was thinking if I was going to force myself to buy the silver one, are you really going to spend half a million pesos on a bag you don't really like? I don't think so. So after looking at the classic flaps, I asked to see the Coco handles in which he said there was only one stop. And again, I didn't like the color because it was way too pink. If it came in any other color, maybe. But again, settling, which we are not doing. At this point, I was like, okay, maybe I should look at the wallet on chain because I might just want to buy something cheaper. And this is when he was like, oh no, we have no stock. I was like, seriously, no stock? And then he was like, yes, we only have this one, the denim. I'm not gonna pay that much money for not leather, if you know what I mean. Trip went by, we did our event. And on the last day, just a couple of hours before leaving for the airport, I was like, you know, maybe I should drop by Chanel again. You know, to see, because I don't really want to go home empty-handed. It's one of those things, it's a problem. I think I was thinking if I was gonna force myself to buy a wallet or something, anything. And this time there was no line, I was able to go in right away and I was assigned to a different sales associate. So this SA, she was so nice and accommodating again. This time, I asked straight away to see the wallet on chain. And lo and behold, I kid you not, there were so many choices. <sighs> At this point, I felt betrayed. So betrayed! So Kuya, who first told me there were no stocks, you're lying to me. Anyway, on that note, I was able to get my wallet on chain, my walk, finally. And uh, so I want to unbox it here with you so that we can erase all the bad vibes with some good ones. Okay, let's go. So this is how it is pala when it is brand new. You get a paper bag. It's just a black paper bag with the Chanel and a flower on it. The sales associate took so long to pack this up, so I guess Medyo, they have a lot of rituals. <gasps> the boxy! Ah! This is the tiny little box in which the tiny little bag comes in. I don't know if you can tell, but the ribbon is inverted. The reason why that is, is because I did this. You can blame my husband. He really wanted to see the bag when I got home and I was like, Fine, I have to redo the ribbon R wrong side up, whatever. As you can see, it comes with this flower which is removable. It is actually just stuck by this little double-sided tape. I am so tempted to put this on my forehead but I have makeup on. So let's put it on my hair. <laughs> now let us pull on the ribbon. Obviously, keeping all of these little things with me. By the way, I don't know if you guys are interested, but the price is actually here on the side of the box. This is how much I bought it for. I just like, googled it to peso. It became mga 175k if you guys want to know how much it cost. But because I bought it abroad, there is a tax rebate or refund. I got it for almost like 10k off. So mga 165. Brand new. Fairness. 
Kasi pag resale, di ba, it already goes for like 165 and that's already used. So to get it brand new, I am very happy with this purchase and I'm excited. And so it is now the moment of truth. Let's open the box. It comes with this little booklet. These are basically the care cards, how to take care of your bag. It tells you to avoid contact between light colored leather with denim and dark clothing, yada, yada, yada. The receipt envelope comes with the Rex Hotel Fashion Boutique address. And we have the receipt here, so that's cool. All right, if you guys are ready, we're down to the last piece of our unboxing. This is the dust bag. It's black. It kind of has like a Swedish texture, but not really. It's pretty smooth. So this looks like something that will get dirty very fast. It has a very very subtle label in the middle and please ignore the fact that half of my nails are missing. <laughs> You can see the color from there! So here it is, fresh from the store, still untouched. I uh, don't want to destroy the tissue. You think I'm exaggerating but like for the amount of money I spent on this tiny bag, I'm gonna make sure that everything is still perfect. I did it. Now that the sticker is off, I can finally reveal my pretty wallet on chain. Aww, isn't she lovely? So here we go. I got this really light blue, almost periwinkle type of color. It looks a lot lighter depending on the light. Wow, I said light so many times. I don't have anything quite like it. It is like a pastel that I feel is really missing from my bag collection. A lot of my bags are black and so I wanted to kind of explore with a color that I don't have or normally wouldn't go for. This is your classic wallet on chain. Obviously, I got it in the caviar because I'm not really a huge fan of lambskin. It's too delicate and scary. Just in case you haven't seen the classic wallet on chain before, they do all look like this. It has a tiny logo right there of the CC and mine still has the plastic cover. As you can see, I got the gold hardware. I think it looks really nice with the blue. The chains look super cute. And the back of the bag does come with a little side pocket. Let's open the bag. This is the anatomy. You've got a little zipper up in here, which is very nice and it's crazy just how deep it goes. It goes all the way here, guys. <laughs> so if you've got a secret letter, which Coco Chanel like to do, right? That's the history. You can put them there, your secret notes or whatever else. You've got the strap going through this middle and then up in front, you've got another pocket. Beside the pocket, you have a zipper over here. So I would put in here maybe a key or something important that I don't want to fall out, so probably cash. And I would like to point this out, guys. Because I bought it in 2023, it now comes with a microchip. Yeah! So we don't have cards anymore. You've got one more little pocket beside that zipper. And of course, the main compartment is this, where basically you don't really have any space but you do have enough space for a cell phone and then all of your cards, you just put them here on the side. There really isn't much else to this bag. Um, it is just a walk, so it's meant to be tiny. It's meant to be just for the essentials. So now that we've unboxed the bag, it is time to wear it and show you how it looks like on me. I am 5'6 or 5'5 five five for reference and it falls perfectly on my hip. So I like to put it here. Some people might prefer like really short straps. This has a kind of long strap. So if you're shorter than me, it's bound to go a little low. There really isn't much you can do with it. It's either just a shoulder bag that lands there or a crossbody that lands basically just there as well. In terms of weight, obviously Chanel isn't really known for being lightweight, so this isn't the lightest small bag ever, but it is tiny. And so the amount of pressure it puts on your shoulders isn't too much, even if I put my phone, even if I put all my cash and cards in there, it's bound to be still pretty light and comfortable. We're in love with this color, but because it is so light, I am a bit worried that I have to baby it. Definitely going to put some colonel to make sure that it is stain proof and waterproof. But in terms of clothing, I would maybe try to wear this with 
a lot of white or beige only. I'm not going to wear it with these pants. Light colored bags are always high maintenance, but it's totally fine. I think you should still have fun while wearing it. And I am definitely excited to have fun with this one. Did you enjoy this unboxing? And have you ever experienced something similar to what I experienced? Let's rant together. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like there was a bit of discrimination just because he felt like I wouldn't buy anything. All of a sudden, he would not accommodate me. That's kind of uncool. So even if that wasn't what it was in the start, I feel like eventually it did turn into some form of discrimination. And I guess that's just the reality that we have to deal with because it is a luxury brand and it just gets a little bit snooty in there. Overall, I'm still really happy that I was able to experience the store. Just really looking forward to a better experience, maybe if I travel elsewhere. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today. I'm not really sure if I missed out on anything, but if I did, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace and love. Bye. Peace and love. Bye.